The Adventure for Life. I'm Joel. This is day six of the 74 Cutlass, Cutlass 50th anniversary cross country extravaganza. I'm obviously at Niagara Falls in New York. Uh, the weather has been terrible all morning. It has been raining like crazy. I spent the night in Albany last night. It was about a five hour drive here and it just rained on me the whole time. And about 30 minutes ago, the weather finally broke and which was nice. That's a blessing. Anyway, um, I've been to Niagara before, it's probably 10, 15 years ago, something like that. Um, I'm on the American side. I'm not going to go to the Canadian side. So for those of you who have not been here before, the Horseshoe Falls are on the Canadian side. Bridal Veil vale Falls is on the U.S. side. Obviously, the Horseshoe side is bigger and quote unquote better. I went to both before and I did this uh, boat, the Maid of the Mist. Uh, and you see the Maid of the Mist is on that sign right there. I'm not going to do that today. I'm just going to stay on the American side. I've got my passport, but I don't want to take the time to do it. Uh, one thing about this area, it has really, really become heavily commercialized on both sides. I'm not exactly sure what city that is on the other side. Um, that is Canada over there, the Embassy Suites or whatever. And uh, I saw downtown Buffalo as I was driving in, but you can't see it from here. Anyway, um, I guess I'm going to be doing the pedestrian bridge to Goat Island, the American Falls. I guess I'm doing the American Falls. Obviously a lot of construction here, I'm trying to make some kind of improvement. Um, anyway, uh, I hope that I can see, I don't remember if I could get a good view of the Horseshoe Falls from um, from this side um, when we were here before. I mean, from the Canadian side, you're able to just look right down the falls. I mean, get right up there on the edge and look straight down. And it's, it's kind of unnerving, uh, especially if you think about people going over it in barrels and whatnot. Anyway, um, this will probably be another relatively short uh, day because uh, a lot of driving today. I'm going to, you know, drove like I said five hours this morning and then uh, I'm going to drive to Kenton, Ohio after I leave here um, for tomorrow's activities. Anyway, they've really, uh, really made the place uh, look nice and um, I'll. Uh, I'll video some more when I get down to the point where I can actually see the falls. Prospect Point apparently is the place I'm going to and if you can see there in the distance um, See big water, you know, I don't really remember I remember going riding the made the mist before and Going down we Paid some money and went down to the bottom of Bridal Veil Falls and you could actually stand down there at the bottom of it and kind of concoct your head and look straight up the waterfall it's obviously not nearly as big as the canadian side and um it was pretty cool and again a little bit unnerving but they gave you a, a um, rain jacket so you put that on to keep from getting wet and then you um, um climb down a set of scaffolding or a set of stairs that they told us at the time they had to rebuild every single year so they built it left it there in the winter it would freeze and get broken apart and I guess wash away and which sounds kind of crazy but uh, you know that's what they told us anyway boy that is a lot of water so I guess I'm gonna go across that bridge in a second and there I believe I'm quite sure that's the falls right there so I'll walk up to this bridge and take a shot from up there 
Okay, here's the look from upstream and you know, honestly, y'all are getting a better look than I am because I'm down here behind this uh, steel uh, wall they have here or bracing this fence I'll show you right here. And at my extreme height, I can't, I mean, I can see over the top of it, but uh, this metal's blocking it. But that's, uh, that's pretty cool. That is a lot of water coming over okay there you go yeah so you can see the lip of the far bank of uh, this river and that's the top side of the falls and uh, I don't know if you can see over there it says casino on the side of that building there's a bunch of casinos on the US side too so apparently waterfalls and casinos go together Anyway, I'm going to go down there to, uh, to where the actual falls are and see how good of a shot I can get from there. So I'm walk as I'm walking down, I'll mention one more thing. Uh, again, I was just right there on that bridge that you see. Um, interestingly, this, this is a state park, and I haven't paid any kind of entry fee or anything like that to get in. Now, I mean, to park down here and park close, it was 25 bucks. Um, I'm not sure who I was paying that to, but uh, again, to get in, it was no charge. Um, at least that I know of yet, and it doesn't look like it's going to be. So so this is a good view of the falls from the American side. You say, see in the distance over there the Horseshoe Falls from the Canadian side, and there is, you know, the boat they call the Maid of the Mist. And... I don't know if you can see it, but right over the lip, approaching the uh, Canadian Falls is another boat. So I remember when, you know, last time I was here, we did the boat and went up. And that's probably about as far as they're going to go. And, um, you know, obviously they're not going to pull you right into the base of the falls or whatever. But um, pretty cool to do that. Um, the... Honestly, the American Falls are bigger than I remember. And again, it's some place, and I don't know if you can see on the far, far, far side of the falls over there, there's some people and a fence. And it's possible maybe that's where you go down. Uh, I'm not exactly sure. But again, we went down to the base of the falls on the American side, and you're sure not going to do it down there because there's way too much mist and way too much water but at some point you can get down there and again actually stand quote unquote at the base of the falls and kind of look up it um there's where they're loading the uh the boats obviously oh i'm gonna try to go out there i guess and maybe get a better view of the canadian falls i know that's a long way off and one thing i've seen about the gopro is it doesn't do distance and depth all that well but uh there's a little bit better look at the canadian falls and there's another uh outcropping rocky outcropping there so i'm going to see if i can go over there um this by the way if you can see down there uh that appears to be you see all those people have blue rain jackets on or whatever and maybe they're walking down to the place where you get to the base of the falls so maybe it is this area over here Anyway, I'm going to try to go up there if I can and uh, see what see what that's all about and see if I can get a little bit better view. So it turns out that point that I was uh, making note of that was on the far side of the American Falls uh, caused me to go back across the bridge I started at. So I've already done that. And then here's a smaller bridge with a smaller flow of water which obviously makes up that uh, further point um, or part of the width of the uh, American Falls so anyway I think that I'm walking toward that uh, that spot that uh, looks out over the um, you know, it gets you a little bit closer to the Canadian side. Here's again the upstream side of this more narrow part of the uh, 
of the river. Okay, so based on that sign, I'm going to the Cave of the Winds, which I have no clue what that is. Luna Islands, the maybe get a obviously get a look from the other side of Bridal Bell Falls, and maybe a little bit better look, and uh, get a little bit better look at the Horseshoe Falls. So that is good. And just a couple feet further than that last clip, you know, we're on Goat Island, whatever that means. So anyway. I'm almost to Bridalville Falls. You know, here's the upstream side. There's the downstream side, and obviously the falls right there. So I'm going right there, and it appears I'm going to get wet. Anyway, so we'll see what this is all about. Niagara Falls State Park, American Falls, Luna Island, and Bridalville Falls. I want to say again this morning, I thought I was going to skip this because the weather was so bad this morning. It rained and rained and rained and rained all the way from Albany to here. And again, about 30 minutes before I got here, it cleared up and I am so thankful for that because, you know, especially since I've been here before, I'm like, well, I can blow that off. But, uh, you know, you never remember it as good as it is. And yeah. <laughs> a lot of mist. Um, you never remember it as good as it is. And there you go. This is the view um, from the other side from where I was. So earlier I was right over there where that, by where that bridge is. And this is the uh, view from the other side. Let's see if I can get in here a little bit better. Yeah, so there's a look straight down the falls. Okay, there's the scaffolding and whatnot that I was talking about earlier. I hope you can see it down there through the mist. So we walked down there again probably 15 years ago. You walk down to the bottom and I'm getting wet and you can stand right down there where you see the water coming down and look up that. I guess that's what Bridal Veil Falls is right there. I guess that's the American Falls. And this is on the American side too, but that's Bridalville Falls there. And again, we were able to walk down there and I just turned around, leaned my head back and looked straight up the falls. So, uh, pretty cool. All right, I'm gonna head to, uh, the, I'm gonna head up there because I'm getting wet. And again, fortunately, it really warmed up and I'll hopefully be able to video the horseshoe falls from up there on the Canadian side. Okay, ask me who that is. It's a really, 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 really famous person who died 70 years ago, but he's really famous today. So that is Mr. Tesla. So I just read that sign right there and it says, I'll abbreviate, the Tesla worked for Westinghouse and they developed the first electrical plant here, digging a two mile long tunnel um, under the, you know, obviously under the ground. Um, somewhere south of uh, the American Falls and they uh, it was the first time ever that electricity was transmitted uh, over long distances to power I'm sure Buffalo and uh, other cities nearby but anyhow their old Tesla still making a name for himself so I think I'm moving closer than this uh, up this walkway here but uh, there's a pretty good view of the made of the mist and how close it gets to the Horseshoe Falls. Again, there's uh, the Canadian Point. I don't know if you can see it, but right there on the right side of the falls, there is an observation point. And again, 15 years ago, I stood at the closest point you could and looked over. And one of the crazy things was, I mean, you're, you know, you're staring right down that falls, which I don't know, 150 feet, whatever it is. And to realize you're, you know, the, the width of a fence from death is kind of unnerving not to be morbid again. And there's a, there's a view downstream. Another cool view. There's uh, where I'm headed, Terrapin Point is what it's called. And there's the Horseshoe Falls and obviously all the mist that's kicked up. And then there's the, uh, the downstream look. So here's the river uh, flowing down to make the uh, falls. 
pretty immense, pretty massive. I'd say that's uh, a quarter of a mile wide, something like that. Uh, maybe wider. Water's flowing fast. Uh, again, the volume is tremendous. Uh, you can see, maybe right there, you can see the lip of the falls. And then, of course, right here, you can see the falls on the opposing side and the lip right here. So I'm going to keep videoing this and hopefully the crowd uh, people here won't be too bad. But, you know, you can't see too great because of all the mist, which is cool in and of itself. Um, so let's see how good of a how good of a picture I can get. Oh, this is cool. Um, so I don't think I'd have wanted to be the guy that built that concrete wall right there. Uh, hopefully nobody perished in the process. Um, lots of people, so I'm going to try to get a little bit closer here. Uh, there again. There's the Maid of the Mist down there. So um, that's pretty cool. They're getting, they're getting pretty close. Sorry, got to get away from this guy. Um, let's see if I can get in here a little bit closer. Yeah, so there's the Maid of the Mist. There's the face of the wall falls. And there you can see, again, it looks like to me it's probably 150 foot, 170 foot drop, something like that. A lot of mist, so you can't see too deep in there, and I'm sure those people on the boat are mostly seeing mist too, but uh, pretty, pretty, pretty cool. That's going to be us in a couple hours. All right, here we go. Take a picture real quick downstream. So there's upstream, there's Canada. There is, there is downstream. And so that's it. That is Niagara Falls. Again, I'm thrilled. Oh, there's a great view of Bridal of the American side um, of the falls. On the American side, it seems like there's a lot more rocks at the bottom. As I remember, you know, on the Canadian side, you can't, you're good. On the Canadian side, you can uh, if the rocks are down there, they don't appear to be as many down there, and if they are, you can't see them because of the mist. But anyway, uh, great day, glad it came. Uh, we'll we'll make this the end of the video. I'll get a little bit closer um, again, so we can end with a view of the Canadian Falls, and this is the end of day. What did I say? Day six um, of the 20 for 50th anniversary. I can't believe I said I was going to say 25th, 50th anniversary of the Cutlass Cross Country Odyssey at Niagara Falls. Great day, beautiful weather. See you tomorrow.